you know me but if you didn't now you do today i'm thrilled to announce that i'll be unlocking the platinum trophy for bloodborne as you may know this game was released back in 2015 and still remains a beloved classic in the gaming world with 34 trophies to obtain it's no easy feat and according to psn profiles it's a 7 out of 10 and can be completed in one playthrough within 50 hours However, I was able to speedrun it and complete it in under 19 hours, and in this video I'll be sharing my journey with you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First things first, we need to load into the game with my beautiful looking hunter. The story starts in the city of Yarnum, a somber medieval inspired metropolis. As I traverse the city, battling a variety of foes ranging from humans to massive grotesque crows and ferocious dogs. I eventually encounter my very first beastly boss. Bro, chill! Bro, chill! Take that! Take that! Let's go, come on! No! No! Yes! Let's go! <gasps> Bro, first try! Cleric Beast! Defeat Cleric Beast, let's go! Oh my gosh, first try! After triumphing over my first boss on the first attempt, my confidence is at an all-time high as I continue my exploration of Yarnum. I've traversed the city in all directions, encountering an array of formidable foes along the way. However, nothing could have prepared me for the challenge that awaited me as I delved deeper into the city's depths. <gasps> let's go! Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why can't we play nice? No! No! Hold up, hold up, let's go! Let's go! Bro, my god, I was so close! Father Gascoin, first try! First try! Finally, I get a break from bosses and come across a safe haven to which I can return. This safe haven would also play a part later in the game, and it is where I found my very first blood gemstone, which makes my weapon more powerful. Blood gem connect, I mean contact. Acquire a blood gem that imbues hunter weapons with special strength. Ah, okay. But that break didn't last long. Once I left the cathedral ward, I was back in action. Oh, Finding even bigger and hairier dog enemies around the city until I finally came across who I like to call their big brother. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Wait, wait, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Just, just, just chill. Just chill. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First try. First try. Let's go. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm nasty at these bosses. Blood starved beast. Acquire the chalice of Tumerion that steals. Oh, this is a. Oh, this is another trophy I got. Oh, two. All oh, two at the same time. Oh, let's go. Now, Bloodborne has a ton of easy and hard miscellaneous trophies, like when I open a chest and get a rune that I can equip on my character to give them a special attribute. Rune contact! Let's go, another trophy, bro! Finally, I'm starting to get trophies! Acquire a Kara rune that endows hunters with special strength. Let's go. There is also a trophy for discovering a new area that I haven't explored yet, which is always very exciting. The source of the dream. Discover the abandoned old workshop. The source of the... Oh, this is the... Ah, <laughs> okay. After making my way through the area, I come across some very scary enemies that appear to be from a church. They try to kill me, but I overpower them and come across yet another ginormous boss fight. Stop it! Stop! Stop screaming, please! We're friends, okay? We're friends. We're friends, okay? We're friends! We're friends! Yo, I'm nasty! <laughs> oh 
Bro, first try! Every single boss, first try! I s nah, this game is actually easy. Hey, Vicar Amelia trophy. Defeat the beast that once was Vicar Amelia. But we're only 10% into that. That's crazy. <laughs> Now, for the first time, I struggled and struggled to win a boss fight. I wasn't able to dodge correctly, and I couldn't take down two bosses at the same time, which was very frustrating. And if I didn't take out one, they would revive the other one. No, oh, no, 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 Oh my, come on, bro! Oh! Oh my god, come on! Nah, you're done. Let's go! Oh my gosh, bro! <gasps> Let's... Let's go! Let's go, bro! That fight should not have been that hard, bro! The Witch of Hemwick! Defeat the Witch of Hemwick! Oh my gosh! Finally! Bloodborne also has side paths that lead you to a secret boss fight, which I would have to beat to earn a trophy. Let's just say that I hate lightning now. Bro, go after him! Go after him! Go after him, bro! Bro, go after him! Go after him! Let's go! Give me that! Dark Beast Pearl! Defeat Dark Beast Pearl! Bro, oh, I had to level up so much just to defeat this thing. And I also didn't call in the second person. So I guess I made it easier. Let's go! Gosh! I finally came across what's known as the Forbidden Forest. If I'm being honest, I had to use a guide to get to the next boss fight because this place is like a maze and there's trees everywhere, enemies, creatures, I don't even know. Also, this boss fight was like no other. I had to fight three different bosses at the same time. Nice, nice, let's go. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Nice! Nice! Wait, did you just revive your teammate? Nah. Oh, nah, if I die, I swear I'm gonna be pissed. Come on! Come on, let's go! Let's go! That one wasn't too hard. Shadow of Yarnum. Let's go, defeat the Shadow of Yarnum. That one wasn't actually hard. And there was three of them. Wow, okay. <laughs> I managed to defeat the three bosses and then encountered a huge creature that grabbed me and transported me to a dark building that looked like a lecture hall. Nightmare Lecture Building, what is that? Gain entry into the Bergenworth Lecture Building that drifts within the realm of Nightmare. What the? I just got grabbed by some invisible thing and now transporting me here. Okay, I guess. <laughs> After traversing the lecture hall, I encountered yet another boss. For viewers who have arachnophobia, please skip forward a few seconds as this next part contains a giant spider. However, for everyone else, this spider was probably the easiest boss I've fought so far, but he did keep spawning in his little minion spiders, and that was pretty scary. I just need a few more hits, come on. Stop, 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 stop. I just need to hit you, I just need to hit you, I just need to hit you, come on, I'm gonna hit you. Let's go! Hello, hello, hello. Oh my god, I thought I didn't get it. Oh, I thought I was about to die. Rom the vacuous spider. Is that how you say him? Vacuous? I don't care. Let's get it. Defeat great one, Rom. To be honest, I thought Bloodborne was going to be more challenging. However, after leveling up and acquiring a very powerful weapon, I felt empowered enough to face any boss. Nevertheless, I did still experience a few deaths while battling the one reborn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, 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 come on. Don't do it, don't do it, don't blow it, don't kill me, 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 come on. Almost. I have I have no stamina. I have no stamina! Come on, I got him! I got him, I got him! Bro, oh my every time! It's so close! That was my second try for that guy. The one reborn, let's go. In the upcoming boss fight, I find myself chasing a little rascal boss through a maze he made while also being pursued by his minions. Bro, be quiet. You sound so weird. Got you now, boy. Got you now, boy. Uh oh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah, do that thing again. Come on. Oh wow. No, not that thing. I'm, I was talking about throw, throw the blue. Come on. That right, good. And then we're pushing forward. Nope. Oh sh. Ah. Ah, this is bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Wait, is he dead? Wait. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Let's go. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna spawn again. Mikolash, host of the nightmare. Let's go. And after defeating a repulsive large eye-like creature and encountering some terrible, overweight pigs, I discovered what's known as a blood rock, which is the final component required to upgrade my weapon completely. All right. Let me see. Get that one. Got that one. Weapon Master, let's go. The next boss I faced, Murgle's Wet Nurse, was relatively straightforward, but had an enormous amount of health, causing me to die a few times. Fortunately, I had fully upgraded my weapon, allowing me to deal a substantial amount of damage. Stop, 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 stop. Gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Gosh. Oh my, I thought the game glitched. Nothing was happening. Murgle's Wet Nurse. Defeat Great One Murgle's Wet Nurse. Let's go. 24% to the Platinum. For the next trophy, I forgot to start the timer, so the timer wasn't running. I, I, I did fix that later, but first I had to fight a strange looking boss, which wasn't too challenging. Once I defeated the boss, I earned another trophy, which gave me an item that I needed to complete a dungeon for yet another trophy. Hold up. Crunch up. Crunch up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Wait. Ha. Get him. Uh oh. Oh, jump. Get his legs! Get his legs! Bro, bro, what if I die? What if I die? Uh, yo, it's, it's, yo, guys, why is this? What? Wait, why am I so bad? Wait, why am I so bad? Do I have him? <laughs> bro, that was the easiest but weirdest fight I've ever done. Ailing Lauren Chalice. Amygdala, defeat great one, Amygdala. Let's go. And I think I actually get another trophy. Yeah, Chalice of Ailing Lauren. Acquire the Chalice of Ailing Lauren that seals a tragic land lost to the sands. That's for the dungeons that I have to do to fight one of the bosses for the trophies. Let's go. Two trophies in one. Hey, let's get it. That was an easy fight. Now for another miscellaneous trophy, I had to backtrack to the starting area of a game to obtain a special rune that I had overlooked previously. This was necessary to earn the Rune Master Trophy. Alright, this should lead me to a chest right here and I should get... A blood gem, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, rune master. Okay, let's get it. Acquire an extremely precious Kareel rune. Nice. Afterward, I continued making my way through Bloodborne's Forbidden Forest. I certainly wasn't prepared for the surprise of being picked up by two stunning yet ominous black horses and delivered to one of the largest castles I had ever seen.
Let's go! Kinehurst or Kanehurst, however you say it. Gain entry to Kanehurst, the lost and ruined castle. That was actually a pretty cool like little Oh, they died. <laughs> The castle was populated with ethereal maidens that only became visible when I drew near to them. They were quite formidable and could deliver a powerful blow in my opinion. Nevertheless, I managed to bypass them and eventually encountered the castle's ruler, who was far from pleased to see me. Alright buddy, you're done. Get up, come at me. Come at me! Oh no. Oh. Oh, actually this is bad. This is actually bad. No, no, no. Oh, no, my God! No, 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 Oh my gosh, bro. Third try. What if I just died right there? <laughs> Martyr Lagarius. Defeat Martyr Lagarius. Let's go, guys. Now, missing an entire area in Bloodborne without realizing it is possible. Thus, to earn the next trophy, I had to revisit a location that I had completely forgotten about. The irony is that this area was right at the beginning of the game, and I only realized it after playing for about 12 hours. I've never opened this door. I mean, this should be... This actually, yeah. The choir, yeah. I had, to, I had to look this place up. I couldn't find it. Gain entry to the realm of the choir, the high stratum of the healing church. I couldn't find this place. It was well hidden. Now, do you guys remember those hidden paths with bosses? Well, I discovered another one. This time, the boss was a colossal blue creature with a massive head. Oh, oh my God, he turned. Why is he like this? Celestial Emissary. That was so easy. Defeat Great One, Celestial Emissary. Let's go. I thought I was going to be tougher right? when he turned into a freaking giant. But nah, we're good. Okay. Now, I don't usually get angry when I die in the game. What I feel is more like disappointment, especially when I know that it's my fault. That's what happened with this next boss I fought. This boss had an enormous amount of health and took an incredibly long time to defeat. And I made a foolish mistake that cost me my life. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go! Oh my god, I was, I, was, I was so focused. I had to kill that thing. Ibritas, daughter of the cosmos. Defeat great one, Ibritas. Let's go, bro. Oh my. That took me like five tries. Oh, and I got Chalice of East. Acquire the great Chalice of East that seals the home of the cosmic kennel. Two and one again. Let's go. Getting closer and closer to the platinum. Let's go. I earned the next miscellaneous trophy for collecting every single special hunter tool available in the game. Let's go, bro. Hunter's crap. I was following a guy this whole time. Acquire all special hunter tools. And there's nine of them. Before reaching the game's conclusion, I aimed to obtain most of the miscellaneous trophies. The next one required me to obtain all 26 hunter weapons, which comprised 15 right-handed weapons, and 11 left-handed weapons. Instead of going through the challenging process of finding each one, I opted to take the easy route and look for their duplicates in a dungeon. Let's go, I got the Hunter's Essence Trophy. I was over here counting for a good five minutes. Wait, so you have to buy each one and put it in, in your inventory for this trophy to unlock. That's actually pretty dumb, but I, I got all the trophies and I did a little like glitch. So you guys see it says uncanny at the bottom. Basically what I had to do for that, I had to go to a dungeon instead of doing what I had to do to get the actual weapon. And I, I got, you know what? I got the trophy. I did it. That, 
Let's move on. The next trophy required me to obtain the highest blood gem in the game, which I could only obtain by defeating a high level boss in a dungeon. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the victory, but I did manage to watch a clip of it later on. Now to obtain this trophy, I had to face one of the toughest dungeon bosses in the game, the Thumerian Queen. Although I died a lot during the fight, I eventually found a way to cheese her, which prevented her from hitting me. This strategy helped me secure the victory and earned the trophy. Now I only needed three more trophies. <laughs> ah, what am I doing? <laughs> no! Got it! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, Yarnum! To Marion Queen! Defeat Yarnum, Blood Queen of the Old Labyrinth. I just need to do the ending of the game, guys, and we finally have the Platinum Trophy for Bloodborne. I'll see you there. So Bloodborne has three different endings, two main ones and one secret one, but I didn't want to have to play through the game three times. So what I did was wait before starting any of the endings. I would save the game on a USB and every time I finished one of the endings, I would load up that USB save and it would put me right in the spot I was at before starting an ending. Now to get this ending, my character had to be decapitated, but it turns out that this whole nightmare was a dream and I wake up in the real world. First ending is submit your life. Second ending is pressing refuse. And the third ending, I have to do some special things. But first we're gonna do submit your life and I should get a trophy. Let's go! Yarnum, well, Yarnum, Sunrise, you lived through the hunt and saw another day. That is the first ending out of three. Let's keep it going. Two more trophies until the platinum. For the next ending, I chose to refuse to wake up from the dream, which led to Gurman, the old hunter, trying to kill me so that I would accept my fate. It was a tough battle, but I managed to defeat him and take his place as the new host of the hunter's dream. The hunt begins again. I don't even know if I should smile or be disgusting, but that was, let's go! One more trophy until the platinum, guys. Honoring wishes, captivated by the moon presence, you pledge to watch over the hunter's dream. We're so close, we're so close. One more, guys. For the final secret ending of the game, I had to consume three different items that I acquired through my playthrough. Now, these items were missable, so I had to follow a guide to find each one. I then would talk to German and refuse my fate. I had to fight him again, and after defeating him, the boss known as the Moon Presence came down from the sky to try to consume me. All right, now I have to eat these uh, one third of umbilical cords. I have to eat all three of them. Then I have to fight that guy again. And then after beating him, another secret boss fight would trigger. Let's go. Come on, let's go! Bro, that was way too easy. Huh? <laughs> Childhood's beginning, you became an infant great one, lifting huma humanity into its next childhood childhood guys childhood and now after 20 hours close to 20 hours which is actually pretty fast in three two one blood born platinum trophy bro let's go let's go bro oh my i if i'm gonna be honest guys i never thought i would get a platinum trophy for a from software game all trophies acquired hats off to me guys come on you you gotta drop a like for that i got way more games coming 
tougher games, some easy games. You know, sometimes I gotta let, let off some steam playing some. <sighs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie. The first day I started up Bloodborne, I was procrastinating like crazy, all right? I swear. I started this up on a Monday and I didn't start recording until Tuesday. I was just stuck on the main menu because I didn't believe I could do this. But here we are, 34 trophies in, 100% Bloodborne's Platinum finally acquired, guys. And I'm going to be honest, I'm proud of myself. This game was super hard. I did find a few cheeses, which did help it out. But I mean, I still had to fight the bosses. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Remember, always let me know in the comments what other games you want to see me Platinum. Super easy or just easy or super hard or just hard, guys definitely definitely drop a like for this video i'd really appreciate that and i'll see you in the next one